People seem to break out into a cold sweat when it comes to bleeding the coolant system on a, a Volkswagen T3 transporter. Okay, we all know that the um, uh, radiator is at a higher level than the engine. Okay, um, and you hear people lifting the front of the van, and I don't understand why you would do that because then you're making the, the top of the radiator even higher um, and filling the radiator full of air, and then you have to get rid of all that air. Uh, to be honest with you, it would make more sense to me to lift the back of the van, but I'm not going to be doing either, okay? I have a simpler solution, and that is the miracle of the Schrader valve. Now, this is a basically a tyre valve, um, which is this bit here on the tyre, okay? So, it's this with the rubber removed, okay? So, what I did was I cut the rubber off and I used a wire wheel just to clean up the metal underneath it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use that in conjunction with what people call the Dalek cap, uh, which is the expansion tank reservoir cap. Um, and we're putting a piece of rubber tube on here, okay? And we're going to put a Schrader valve in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a small head of pressure on that tank, okay? And as we put a small head of pressure, what that's going to do is it's going to force the coolant down and we're going to open the bleed valve at the front. And when we open the bleed valve at the front, that's going to let the air out because the wet the water has been pushed down at this end and as a result the air has been forced out the other end. So all you need is you need the Schrader valve, a small piece of rubber tube, um, basic hand tools obviously and you need your coolant which is G12, uh, G12 plus or G12 plus plus whatever anyway basically that's uh, that's what you need and you will need a um, uh, a, a pump, a tire pump of some description. So you could use a foot pump, you could use a tire, uh, an electrical tire inflator, a compressor if you have one, well and good. But you're not going to be putting a huge amount of pressure on this. I'm talking two or three psi is all I'm going to be putting on. So go easy with it. Okay. So let's uh, let's get started and see how we fare out. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to actually remove the front grill of the van. Okay. So each of these uh, five screws, you just turn them 90 degrees. lifts off. Now I have spotlights in the grill so not everybody will have them but that still gives us plenty of room so that's just sitting down there now. And that lad there on the top of our radiator is our bleed valve. Okay so what we're going to do is we're going to be opening that but we're not going to open it just yet. Okay so leave it closed for the moment and then we get the pressure put onto it. When we open that then then the, air, the water will be forced out or the air will be forced out. Okay, so what I've done now is I've filled the reservoir with coolant, okay, so that's now full to the brim, okay, and you need to have it full to the brim, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a foot pump onto here, I could use an electric pump, but to be honest with you, the foot pump is a bit more controllable, and what we'll do is, we will, we'll feel the, um, we'll feel the pipes as we're putting pressure on it, so that they're not absolutely rock hard, we don't need them to be absolutely nearly bursting, you know, because you're going to cause yourself problems there, a little bit of pressure though is alright, so, um, Let's go and get our foot pump. Okay, so the foot pump is here. It's attached to the Schrader valve. Okay, now even if you take that off, that's not going to let the air out because I actually left the valve stem in there. Um, but wait, if you're wondering where to get one of them, just go into a tire place and ask them nicely. They should give you one. I got one for nothing. Um, worst case scenario, they'll make you pay for it. But okay. Those hoses are feeling a bit more firm, but we can give it a bit more. Okay, why don't we try opening our bleed valve now and see how we get on. Okay, so it's a 14 mil spanner you need. So, there you go. So, the reason coolant came out of there was simply because of the fact that the um, uh, there was pressure on the other end. Now, as I said, you don't need much pressure, you only need a little bit. So, um, what we've done is now we've forced any uh, cool, uh, air up to the top of the radiator. And um, yeah, that, I mean, that's basically the job done. The only thing is, is that I'd never drained the radiator in this. So, um, like I didn't take the bottom hose off the radiator. If I did, air would have come out of there and you basically leave the air coming out and you may need to pump up the, uh, the 
foot pump a few times um, and then you get it to the point where um, where you're getting bubbles and then you're getting a stream of coolant out like that. So uh, that's basically it and do you know what? I didn't even start the engine. The last thing you need to do now just to finish the job off is just to top up that coolant tank. That does need to be up to the brim and then you can reinstall your um, uh, your filler tank that goes in behind the reg plate. Obviously you had to remove that in order to do this. You don't need to remove it, remove it, but you need to take the pipe off. So you put the pipe back on and you fill that as well too. So that should be up to the max mark.